Tonight, the Justice Department is suing Alabama and the Department of Corrections over its alleged unconstitutional treatment of prisoners. Now, prosecutors fear the result could be the release of violent offenders. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey reports. The lawsuit alleges Alabama fails to keep prisoners safe, pointing to its abysmal record in 2018 for having the highest homicide rate in the nation for a state prison system. Contributing factors, the government says, are low staffing levels and overcrowding. The lawsuit says Alabama prisons are built to hold 9,882 men, but as of September 2020, there's 15,297 being housed. And the federal judge could decide that only a certain number of people should be incarcerated with the Department of Corrections and just decide arbitrarily who gets released. It's happened before. In 2011, the U.S. Supreme Court ordered more than 30,000 prisoners to be released in California. Baldwin County District Attorney Robert Wilters is concerned it could ultimately happen here. People who are violent and need to be in prison are going to be released. And when they're released, they're going to be back on the streets doing the same thing that they did before. Not to mention the cost of court-ordered reforms. Lawmakers have already increased the Department of Corrections budget 44 percent in the last 10 years, records show. Former State Senator Cam Ward, who now heads pardons and paroles, today on Midday Mobile with Sean Sullivan, warned federal intervention will be costly for the state. You're not going to raise taxes, which I can't imagine anybody want to raise taxes to pay for prisons. What's going to happen is you're going to have to cut some other agency to pay for all this, and it's not going to be cheap. Governor Kay Ivey's office told us today the lawsuit is disappointing, but she plans to move forward with her plans of building three men's prisons to address long-standing problems in the prison system. Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.